We ready? We go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am Scott Marshall. I'm from Ohio. I got my Buckeye clan back here today. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, this first song uh, might not be the most original title. It's called Mona Lisa. <laughs> but I think my take on it's a little bit uh, unique. Anyways, here it goes. Small town rumors spread like butter over hot cornbread. I heard one about her that planted outside my head. And it occurred to me that she had been working late an awful lot. And whenever I was in the mood for loving, she was not. Hmm, imagine that. So I put two and two together and I came up with a lie. Yeah, it about drove me crazy to think of her with some other guy. I drove around and found them at the local motor inn. And this poured from my angry mouth as I saw her there with him. You'd paint a mustache on a Mona Lisa. You'd have Brad Paisley pick a tar while wearing gloves. You'd slather jelly on a pepperoni pizza if you would go and wreck our love. Well, I guess I could have thought of something more profound to say. Still, I think I got my point across there anyway. Hell, I bet they were more relieved that I didn't go berserk. She wasn't worth a night in jail, and neither was that jerk. Yeah, I maintained my dignity, and I didn't overact. I just said, buddy, she's all yours, and good luck with that. Before I turn to leave the scene of that adulterous crime, I made damn sure they heard me as I yelled out one more time. You'd paint a mustache on the Mona Lisa. You'd have Keith Urban pick a guitar while wearing gloves. You'd slam the jelly on a pepperoni pizza if you. Go and break our love If you would go and break our love If you would go and break our love All right. Bless your hillbilly hearts. Thank you. Did I mention I was from Ohio? Yeah, I guess maybe I did once or twice. Well, you know, up where I come from, we got a lot of trees and uh, woods and a lot of deer and some other critters that run around in the woods. And we also got a lot of good old boys that like to put camouflage on and grab their bows and arrows and shotguns and whatever other kind of guns they got. And maybe have a beer or two along the way and go out in them woods and try to get one of God's furry creatures. This song's for them, this is my hunting song. Well, well, they say I'm redneck, cause I like hunting, but it ain't just the meat that I'm wanting. It's the overall experience of being a rugged sportsman. There's just something amazing about shooting a gun, a testosterone boosting kind of fun. Something girls and you sissies just don't understand. Yeah, I'm a macho hunting kind of guy. My trigger finger's getting itchy to let them bullets fly. 
It's a special feeling that the season brings A tromping through the woods and a killing things My weapon is fully loaded and So am I Now my favorite color is camouflage My house looks like a hunting lodge And I got trophies up on every wall Including that one there, though I don't recall how I must have had a few too many and shot the neighbor's cow But that's a fine looking Guernsey hanging there in the hall Yeah, I'm a macho hunting kind of guy My trigger finger's getting itchy to let them bullets fly So fire off a round and drink a brew A little toast to amendment number two my weapon is fully loaded, and so am I. I've got electrically heated undergarments to keep me warm while I hunt for varmints. Yeah, all the latest gear, I'm pure top shelf. One time I had a few beers and I had to pee. I tumbled out of my stand up in a tree. Got them fancy long johns wet, nearly electrocuted myself. <laughs> I'm a macho hunting kind of guy My trigger finger's getting itchy to let them bullets fly well, Some say my IQ's equivalent to my age But hell, that's ten points higher than my shotgun gauge My weapon is fully loaded And so am I Yeah, I'm a macho redneck down Six-pack hunting kind of guy A number of songs over the years with uh, a real fine writer from uh, Saskatchewan, Canada, by the name of Rick Norheim, and with some help from um, Dana Zoki. This is our latest collaboration called If Our Pillows Could Talk. I guess you call that a bedtime story. Whispered sweet nothing close by your ear. Did they understand? Were they able to hear? Did they take it all in? Every warm, loving word given a chance. Would they tell what?
to do Would they talk about love And the sound that it makes When we're lying together And we both give more than we take If our pillows could talk Okay, uh, there's another writer up from in, uh, Northeast Ohio named uh, Rick Keen, and he gave me some real good ideas for a song and half the title, and I came up with this uh, song here called Last Bull, Last Ride. It's a, about a professional bull rider's last time getting on a bull. him now why he finally chose to hang it up he thinks about the broken bones and every wreck he's had he says a little prayer that this time he don't end up dead one final time for straddling in that shoe inside his stomach spinning like them spurs strapped to his boots Last okay, boys, I'm ready. Pull that gate, step aside. Last chance to steer 2,000 pounds of angry horns and hide. Last time to feel the fury and the rush of fear collide. Last bow, last ride. around a widow maker known for hooking riders on the ground eight seconds on his back would seem like an eternity he gets on top and summons every ounce of energy he nods and grabs a rope with his gloved hand then hell breaks loose and feeds a passion he don't understand Okay, boys, I'm ready Pull that gate, step aside Last chance to steer 2,000 pounds Of angry horns and hide Last time to feel the fury And a rush of fear collide Last ball, last ride Gets off when that whistle blows And waves his hat goodbye That's when it really hits him and the tears form in his eyes Yes, okay boys, I'm ready Pull that gate, step aside Last chance to steer 2,000 pounds Of angry horns and height Last time to feel the fury And the rush of fear collide Last bow, last ride This is a little Father's Day uh, kind of song I wrote for my father called I Still Do. So much I learned from him that made me what I am. I'd 
like to share a few things in which I know he had a hand. Well, he taught me how to work, and he taught me how to play this guitar. And I still do. Taught me how to curse, and he taught me how to pray. So I thank God that I can have a dad like him. That's how I felt back then, and I still do. He showed me how to locate the North Star, how to drive a tractor, and later on a family car. When my mom got sick, I saw him showed her everything. Showed me then what true love and devotion really mean And he taught me how to work And he taught me how to play for my sunshine I still do He taught me how to curse And he taught me how to pray So I thank God that I can have a dad like him That's how I felt back then I still do Now that I'm a dad myself I see things through his eyes I reach back to my childhood memories the Lessons lately understood Make me realize Through all these years He's still teaching me And he taught me how to work and he taught me how to play this guitar And I still do He taught me how to curse And he taught me how to pray So I thank God that I can have a dad like him That's how I felt back then And I still do This is about a guy who uh, he's not sure where he stands in his relationship with his girl, so he's asking her the question, should I hold you tighter or should I turn you loose? Lately when we're talking, you won't face me. It's like a scare to let your eyes meet mine And what once seems so clear now seems so hazy Girl, it's time to lay things on the line Tell me, darling, tell me Don't hold nothing back, I want the truth Should I turn you loose? Maybe it's all my imagination Just facts past two old heartaches in my past but Has your old passion left on permanent vacation? Wondering was this just too good to last Tell me, darling, tell me Don't hold nothing back, I want the truth Should I hold you tighter? Tell me, darling, or should I turn you loose? Darling, 
Now should I turn you loose? Should I hold you tight or should I turn you loose? had some help writing this song from Tommy Brandt. He's a fine singer-songwriter. And um, we gave it to a young man named Isaac Cole, and he recorded it this spring, and it's uh, on his uh, CD. I, th I think Country Boy is the name of it. Anyways, it's called uh, Take the Ride. Wasn't very old. It was my first county fair. The smell of cotton candy filled up the evening air. Couldn't wait to ride that Ferris wheel all the way up to the stars. First my mom said no, but then she had a change of heart. But I got cold feet waiting in that line. That's when I heard my daddy's voice as he nudged me from behind. He said, you got your ticket. Now it's time to take the ride. I'll be here waiting on the other side. I know you're scared, but you can make it if you try. Take the ride, son. Take the ride. later found me standing in another line again this time wearing camouflage my nerves were wearing thin my company was headed for a not so friendly place I tried hard to mask the fear and the worry on my face dad looked me in the eyes and shook my hand he said, I'm proud of you, and told me, man to man. He said, you got your ticket. Now it's time to take the ride. I'll be here waiting on the other side. I know you're scared. You can make it if you try. Take the ride, son. Take the ride. chance to see my dad before he passed away a blessing I'll be thankful for each and every day he looked so much at peace while he was lying in that bed from tear-filled eyes I was softly heard the words as he said son you know it's time the good Lord set me free I don't want to keep him waiting you know, I heard him calling me. He said, you got your ticket. Now it's time to take the ride. I'll be here waiting on the other side. I know you're scared, but you can make it if you try. Take the ride, son. Take the ride. Take the ride, son. Take the ride. Take the ride, son, take the ride.